name is Patrick, and thank you for joining us for a special episode of the Also Truman Show. Gabe, yes, we are in my car again. All right, what we're going to be doing here is there has been lots of talk of people having not the budget to actually see to an altar. This has actually troubled me quite a bit. What we are going to do here, we are actually working on how to actually build an altar on a budget. Now, I am just down from my uh, apartment. I'm actually going to be going into okay, the Dollar Tree. And what we're going to be doing is getting the elements for an altar. i to have it and its full accoutrement okay, for under $10. Okay, so this is our challenge with this. All right, here we go. Okay, and here we are going up to the actual Dollar Tree. We will be working and going from there. Okay, here we are in the tool section. Now, one of the first things that everyone always thinks of is a hammer. There we are, one dollar. All right, next we have is the candles here. Oh, here we go. Already both in glass containers and everything. Good two pack, also for a dollar. All right. And we are now in the school supplies. Next, index cards. You'll see what these are for in a little bit. As well as also, here we are, eight pack of permanent markers. Both of these, a dollar. And here we are on this. Oh, and here we are. A pair of bandanas. Okay, we only need one, but yeah. Two will do, okay, two for a buck. You can choose pretty much whatever design you want to. We'll go with these for right now. Okay, and we are now over here. We will go ahead and grab one of these platters here to act as a base for everything. Okay, so that is now done. Okay, with everything that came out to right at $8, so we hit within our $10 target range. All right, with that, what we will be doing, a silver platter you saw, that will be going down as the base, whatever surface that you want the altar on. The actual bandanas that you saw, you'll be taking one of those, placing it down, that becomes your altar cloth. Now, with this here, this, again, as it says, is budget. It is now, you know, doesn't always look the absolute nicest, but it actually gets the job done for you. But that will be your altar cloth. I usually suggest to people, if you can find it, try to get actually a white handkerchief. Okay, sometimes you can see that, find that at like Target, Walmart, some of these stores for ultra cheap. If you can get one of those, that's actually tends to be best. You then have your candles go on there. What you actually saw the cards for and the actual markers, what that is for is you can take the card, fold it in half, and actually, if you're really artistically inclined, you can actually draw a representation of your god or goddess, whichever you prefer, on there, or just do them as I did with my initial ones, just do the actual, whatever the bind rune is for that particular god or goddess. And have that placed up on there. This actually gives you a fully serviceable altar to where you can give your prayers, give your actually hails to the gods, hail to your ancestors, and you're good to go. Okay, on this here, this is Patrick signing off. May the Holy powers and your ancestors bring you all the luck in the world. Peace.